Sally Jewell, born in London, how she got to be the Secretary of Interior, I have no idea. Secretary of Interior, born in London. But here's the main story. She wants revenge. Yes, I repeat, she wants revenge on Clive and Bundy. We all know who Clive and Bundy is. He had a showdown with the Washington boys. They want to take his land. They want. To, they took his cattle. They took his cattle. Some of them they killed and used heavy equipment. They threw the cattle in the back of big dump trucks. And then you had all the Americans from Montana come down to help him. And then the federal government backed off. Well, you, you know the story. The Clive and Bundy Ranch in Nevada. The story was spread across the country. The, fed, the feds were embarrassed and, you better believe it, they were embarrassed. And they were mad. And look at the face on this lady, because she wants revenge. Speaking to governors, she told the governors, I expect there'll be retribution. She told the governors, yes, we'll get Clive and Bundy one way or another. He will be held accountable. Yeah, okay, that's what she said. And Interior Secretary Sally Jewell, who's born in London. Apparently, we have nobody in America good enough for that job. According to Obama, we've got no Americans, none, not one single American out there good enough to be the Secretary of Interior, so we're going to make Sally Jewell, born in London, a banker. 20 years she was a banker. Worked for a mobile oil company for three years and then the oil wasn't exciting enough for her. She was in banking for 20 years, banking before. Obama says, there's no Americans good enough for the Secretary of Interior, so we're going to make Sally Jewell because she, she got that revengeful look. She said, no, we're not going to let Clive and Bundy play with us. No. We want Clive and Bundy's water rights. We want the water. We want his cattle. We want him off the land. We have no need for ranchers, says the federal government. The federal government says he will be held accountable. Where are the laws in this land? Where are, what happened? What happened to this country that we're attacking? That we let people like Sally Jewell, I wouldn't let this lady shine my shoes. Yes, this lady's not good enough to shine my shoes. And, let we, and, let, and yet, here we are. Governors, governors of this great country, listening to her big mouth say Clive and Bundy will be held accountable. Yes, she wants revenge. The republic is done. The republic is done if we let people like this in any type of position of power. How in the world did Obama put her in charge? And who is she listening to that says, oh, we have to get revenge on Bundy? This is so wrong on so many levels. I mean, here you got a woman, a woman who was in the banking industry for no less. She wants to hold Clive and Bundy accountable. She wants revenge on him. She was not even born in the country. Clive and Bundy's ancestors were on that ranch for over a hundred years. Hundreds, a hundred years. Before Nevada is even a state, Bundys are doing are ranching on that land before there was ever a BLM. And yet these people think they can come down and attack, attack American ranchers. Who in the hell does she think she is? And who in the hell do all these people think they are that they can come out and attack ranchers? All because they're letting their cattle graze on some of the most godforsaken property you ever want to see. I mean, if Lord help that cattle if he could ever find a piece of grass to even eat. But that was the rule. That was the law. Before the BLM, his family had a deal with the United States of America. He could let his cattle roam out there on that godforsaken desert land. But now, of course, these people want to put solar panels up there and they want China. Of course, it's the Chinese 
who will make a fortune off the solar panels. And of course they want the water rights too because the feds believe they own your water. They own all the water. Don't think, you, don't think you're going to be able to trap rainwater because you don't own that water. The feds own that water. Give me a break.